Coffee arrived here in 1912, so it is about 105 years ever since. It was introduced here by the colonialists as a cash crop for European purposes. By now, every home in Manafa has, much as they have banana trees, they also have coffee trees. It is something which gives them direct income. We've got um, three coffee varieties. 76% of our total coffee production in Uganda is Robusta. Then uh, we've got about 23.5% uh, being Arabica. Then uh, 0.7% is Liberica. We can tell difference by just uh, looking at the trees, the physiology of the trees. Liberica grows to become a big tree more than 14 feet high. Robustas will usually grow to about uh, anything between 10 to 14 feet. And then uh, the Arabicas are a little shorter shrubs, maybe four to six feet tall. You find that uh, the green Arabica beans are oval in shape. The robusta is round in shape, and the liberica takes uh, an interesting shape, narrow at the top, a bit large at the base. The color tends to goldish, like you can see. At any season, at a Tuesday, eh? Wanga Fabi, Radrud and Kirakum is a book satu. Simba na ye kati tutebeleza butebeleza na ye era kati tuli tuli kuogela na na basau ba district ba environmental officers ba jeba tusomese tukole tichi eh ku obudde buno kubere bulungi kufa bali you cannot promote one single product because of the uncertainties that characterize the tropics so we really feel like we need to work so hard to defend all this kind of richness, all the varieties, all the breeds uh, which are endemic to the tropics and also those which are local and traditional here. Uh, most of us know that um, Robusta is a little resistant to drought as opposed to Arabica's so for us to have uh, all these varieties with us in Uganda means that um, at some point we then begin to have uh, a comparative advantage. Slow food has played uh, a very crucial role in so far as uh, preparing the mindset of these farmers uh, getting them to begin to understand what the market possibly uh, needs. We are now beginning to, to encourage our farming communities to continue embracing best coffee production practices like mulching, for instance, uh, use of uh, less or maybe not at all inorganic pesticides and herbicides. Uh, we're also encouraging them to introduce shade trees in their coffee plantations. This is all to, to, to try and salvage the effects of uh, climate change. Thank you.